As a young boy, one of my early favorite baseball players was a very flashy player named Vic Power. Played first base for the A's, came up in the Yankee system, and was competing with Bill Scourin to be the future Yankee first baseman, and also with Elson Howard to be the first black player called up to the Yankees. Uh, the Yankees said that he was not their type of player. He was dating white women, and they had visions of him bringing uh, a lot of black fans into the box seats around their box uh, seat season ticket holders. They didn't like that either. Power said, they say they didn't call me up because I was going out with white women. I told them, geez, I didn't know that white women were that bad. If I knew that, I wouldn't go out with them. So the Yanks traded him to the Philadelphia A's. And from there, and he debuted in 54 and 55. He was second in the American League in batting average at 319. He had three, oh, over 300 the next year, slumped in 57, but then put together three more years of 300 hitting, won seven gold gloves. Very stylish player who would hit from the right side of the batting box and pendulum the bat back and forth with his left hand toward the pitcher while the pitcher prepared to pitch. And in the field, he was very flashy with the glove. Big Power and the Kansas City A's will take on the 1957 St. Louis Cardinals in Game 8 of the 1957 Double Elimination Tournament. This is Appa Bryan with Appa Baseball Classics, bringing to you game number eight of the 1957 tournament. The St. Louis Cardinals at the Kansas City Athletics were at Municipal Stadium, Kansas City. We've had the introductions. Let's play ball. Ned Garver is ready to throw the first pitch of today's game. And that is two, leading off for the Cardinals. Shortstop Al Dark. We're almost ready for the first pitch and shall play ball. Uh, Nick Garver must do his bullpen roll first. We're playing fall classic baseball. 17. He does not have his best stuff. That's the C column for Ned Garver. Al Dark steps into the box. 290 hitter in 1957. Here's the first pitch of the ball game. 6-2. Goes to the C column. That's going to be a out. A fly ball to right field. Lou Skeezus is under it and makes the catch. One down. Here is Don Blassing game. Turned up on the 61 Reds pennant winning team. Here's the pitch to Blassing game. 3 3 is a base hit to right field. We're going to use the coach chooses chooses a stealing system, and let's see if Blasting Game can get the jump off Ned Garver, who has an average arm, uh, no jump, and that could mean a pickoff attempt. And that little chart here, roll a 20-sided die, 12. Let's see for average arm right-hander. He is back safely. Here's the pitch to Stan Musial, the third place hitter, 351 hitter in 5764. Goes to the pitcher card. That is going to be a fly ball to the left fielder, Gus Zerniel. Two outs. Wally Moon. The man, if he ever had his baseball cards uh, with the unibrow. Here's the pitch to Wally Moon. Moon 55 is a two-base hit for Moon. 
Blessing game will at least go to third. We'll see if he scores. Okay, so first to home. Um, and checking the center fielder's assist rating, that's what he held. He is a six. So we'll hold it third with two outs. Del Ennis. Former Philadelphia Philly, was a member of the Wiz Kids in 1950. And 12 is going to be a ground ball to second base, still in the inning. Runners are stranded at second and third with no scoring. We go to the bottom of the first, the A's coming to bat. Larry Jackson is on the mound for the St. Louis Cardinals. He was 15 and 9 in 1957. And Woody Held steps into the box for Kansas City. 1-5 is a swing and miss, strike three. Woody Held goes down on a high hard one. One away, and here is Vic Power. Had a game in 57 where he stole base, or stole home twice in one game. And he only stole three bases in that game, but he stole home twice in that game. 55 is a single for Vic Power. SBS is 12. You'll hold uh, Hector Lopez, a third baseman. 3-6 is off the pitcher's card, and I forgot to roll the bullpen. So let's do that. Larry Jackson's bullpen is an 8. That's, he's got his B stuff. So 3-6 goes to his card on B, and that is going to be an out. I had to re-roll that, so let's... See what kind of an out that is. It's a fly ball to right field. Two down. Gus Zernial. Cardinals catcher has an A arm. Now Larry Jackson, Jackson is weak. <laughs> so power could get it. Could get a jump. Let's let's give it a shot. He doesn't, and that's also a pickoff attempt because it's a roll of one and 17. He's back safely. Pitch to powerful Gus Zerniel. 45 is a out, and that's a ground ball to third base. A's are out in the first. We go to the top of the second. There is no score. All right. Uh, Kenny Boyer leads off for St. Louis. I once in 1965 as a kid, maybe 12 years old, I tried to trade a friend a Mickey Mantle, a 65 Mickey Mantle card. I was willing to give up Mickey Mantle for Kenny Boyer. That's how much I like Kenny Boyer. He wouldn't do it. Here's a pitch to Boyer. 56 is a... Swing and a miss, strike three. Eddie Casco. He was also on the 61 Reds championship team. He had a blasting game. Uh, 34 is uh, to the Garver card. That's a base hit off the C column. Single for Casco. Still six out of seven bases in 57. They didn't run much in the 50s, but I'm not a 50s kind of guy manager. Uh, he may go. SBS is 17. Let's see what if, if he can get the, the jump. He can. And there he goes. Stolen base for Eddie Casco. Hubby Landra, the catcher. That's an out. Popped out to the first baseman. Two outs, and now the pitcher, Larry Jackson. 
181 hitter in 1957 as a pitcher. Here we go. Here's a pitch to Jackson. Got a run in scoring position. 42. Goes to a base on balls on the column C card for Ned Gar Garver. Garver walks the pitchers. Cardinals have two on. And Al Dark gets an opportunity to get the Cardinals on the board here in the second inning. And he's going to get a base hit, a single. Runners on first and second. It's a single the opposite way to right field. And the runner on second scores if he's fast. Runner on second is Casco. And let's check his speed. He is fast, so Casco scores. And Jackson at first goes to third because Skeezus has a weak arm. First and third, Cardinals take a 1-0 lead on the RBI single by Alvin Dark. Here's Don Blasting Game, a 271 hitter. Two outs, and Fields playing back with two outs. There's a stretch of the pitch from Ned Garver. 53 is a defense check. 12 is too high for strikeouts. So the defense, uh, 53, checks the range of our A's right fielder. Range is 11. 12 is out of that range. It's going to be a double just out of the reach of loose skeezes. That scores Jackson. And... I uh, see Alvin Dark is at first. He's fast. One, if it's a weak arm or average arm, scores if weak arm or average arm, he scores. So two RBIs and the Cardinal take a three to nothing lead. Here is Stan Musial, followed by. Uh, Wally Moon. All right, pitch to Musial. 1 3 is a base on balls. Nightmare inning extends for Ned Garver. Musial at first, every speed. Wally Moon comes to bat. Fifty-six is a strikeout on a column C chart. That's three outs. But the Cardinals score three earned runs on three hits and two walks. We go to the bottom of the second inning. St. Louis three, Kansas City nothing. Al Smith will lead off the bottom of the second inning for the Kansas City eighth. Probably an underrated catcher. Um, he had an average arm, but error is only one to two. He's not going to make many errors and hit 303 on his card. Here's a pitch to Hal Smith. 1 5 is a fly ball to left field, caught by Del Ennis. 1 away. Lou Skeezus. Lou Skeezus had a, a brief career in the major leagues. He came from the Yankee organization. Came to the A's in the middle of 1956, and he got into 83 games and hit over 300 with 11 home runs. Here's the pitch to Lou Skeezus. 50 in 56. Okay, 54 is the KD chart. And that's the uh, wild pitch, uh, pass ball, or unusual events. It's a, this card says go to the wilder chart. That, Pick another card. So base is empty. Wilder, strike three, catcher drops the ball. Throws one around at first base, unless the batter's run rating is F. He's not F. He's an A, so he's out on a strikeout. Two outs here is Joe DeMaestri. Thirty-one goes to the pitcher's card. He's pitching off B. That's a B column. That's a single for Joe DeMaestri. Second hit for the A's. 
R2 outs, average speed at first, but it has a good SBS rating of 17, so we'll give it a shot. See if he gets the jump. He does. And he will be safe, stealing second base. He's in scoring position for Billy Hunter, the eighth place hitter, but only 191 and 182 for the pitcher. So the pitch to Hunter. Here's the pitch to Billy Hunter. 2 2 is going to be a out, ground ball to second base. That ends the inning. We go to the top of the third. St. Louis Cardinals 3, Kansas City A's 0. All right, former longtime Philadelphia Philly, Del Ennis leads off the third for the Cardinals. They're up by 3, 34. Goes to column C. That's a base hit for Del Ennis. Every speed at first, not a threat to steal. Here is the center fielder, King Boyer. Sixty-four goes to the C column. That's an out. And Joe Demetri is going to turn a six-four-three double play. Two outs. Let's see. Eddie Casco. Casco single and scored in his first time up. 42 goes to the pitcher's card, and that is going to be a base on balls. A lot of base runners for the Cardinals today, as Matt Garver is struggling with his stuff, struggling throwing strikes. Hobie Landreth. 34 is a single for Landreth off the pitcher's card. Single to right field. The runner on first will go to third if the right fielder has a weak arm. He does. Birds on the corner for the pitcher, Larry Jackson. 4-6 is no park home runs. Uh, five. Right-handed batter. It's going to be a double for Larry Jackson, the pitcher. Both runners score, and it becomes five to nothing, St. Louis. Timeout. Garver is due to bat first in the next inning. Here's a, he's going to go ahead and pitch to the right-hander, Al Dark. Two six is a. Out, a ground ball back to Garver, throw to first, three outs, but the Cardinals scored two more times. We go to the bottom of the third, St. Louis five and Kansas City nothing. All right, Harry Suitcase Simpson will pinch hit for the pitcher, Matt Garver. Here's a pitch from Larry Jackson. And three six is the roll. That's going to be off the pitcher's card. Fly ball to left field. And that is caught by Dell Ennis. One away. Simpson goes back to the dugout. And Woody Held, the top of the order, steps in. 41 is off the pitcher's card. Base on balls. A's need base runners. They're five runs down. Fast runner. Vic Powers turn to bat. One out, one on. Here's the pitch to Vic Power. Swings the bat from the right side. 43 is a out. Line drive to first base. All right, Power is able to get back safely. Woody Hill is safe at first. Two outs and Hector Lopez. That's a single for Lopez. A single to center field. So the runner at first goes to third. If one out, check the assist rating. A's have runners at the corners with two outs. 
Lopez is fast at first, and here is Gus Zerniel. Gus Zerniel is sometimes called Ozark Ark Ike after a popular comic strip character. He had 191 home runs from 51 to 57, second only to Mickey Mantle. A lot of power. Here's a pitch to Gus Zerniel. 1-1 one, one roll, that's going to be an out. Ground ball to shortstop. That ends the inning. As Eldark makes that play, the A's don't score. We go to the top of the fourth. Cardinals five, and the A's nothing. New pitcher for the A's is Alex Kellner. He is a left-hander. So here's bullpen roll. Uh, two, he's got his best stuff. He'll be using the A column. Leading off for St. Louis is Don Blassingame. It's a home run check, minus 5 off the 65, so 1 through 15. It's a 13. There's a drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. A home run for Don Blessingame, who is well on his way through a cycle. He's singled, doubled, and homered. Cardinals have a 6 to nothing lead. Stan Musial. That's a walk. Woes continue for the A's pitching. Walling Moon. Usual is average speed at first base. And I lost the dice off the table. We'll do that again. One and two, uh, one and ten will be a walk. It's another walk to Musial. So it's been Homer, Del Homer, walk, walk off Kellner. Del Ennis. That's a single. And let's see, runner on second will score. We, let's take a look at this. A's have a weak arm in right field, so the runner on second scores. Runner on first goes to third. Seven to nothing, St. Louis, and the horse is out of the barn. Dallas is two for three. Runners on the corners for Ken Boyer. Sixty-four of column A is out. That's the fly ball to Lou Skeezus in right field. The runner on third will tag and score on the sacrifice fly. It becomes eight to nothing. Eddie Casco. Fifty-two is a defense card. Nine is not high enough for a strikeout on column one, one to four. So 52, we're checking the air rating on the third baseman, Hector Lopez, not great. That's 11, it's a nine. So it's an error on Hector Lopez. Two base error, wild throw. Runners first and third, and the infield will play back for Colby Landreth. 43 is a out on a seven, that's a... Fly ball to left field. Could use a rush chart, but I think the Cardinals will just hold. Got a seven run lead, two outs. Here is Larry Jackson. We have an eight, is it? We have an eight run lead. And 46 to Larry Jackson, no park homers. And 12 for a right-handed batter. That is a foul out to the first baseman. So three outs, but three are in. It is eight to nothing, St. Louis. Al Smith leads off for the A's, 36. 
that will be a out. And I think at this point we're going to just speed up the game. And if unless there's runners on base, we won't worry about what kind of an out. Luskizis comes to bat. He has struck out his first time up, 44. It is a base knock for Luskizis. Base hit to left field. Every speed at first. Here is Joe DeMaestri. Fifty-six. Off Larry Jackson's card. That's a strikeout. Two outs. And Billy Hunter. And that's an out. That would be a fly out to center field. Three outs. We go to the top of the fifth. Eight to nothing Cardinals. We're at the top of the Redbird order, and Al Dark leads off. Blasting games on deck, going for a cycle. The first here's the pitch to Al Dark, 6 3. Kellner is working off the ACOM. Dark is retired, one out. Here's Don Blasting Game. He needs a triple to hit for the cycle. 5 5 is a possible triple. It's 1-2, though, so it goes to in 5, so he misses by three numbers of the triple, but he gets a hit, and he is 4-4-4, four four four, having a banner day. Stan Musial. Musial is 0-1, walked twice. 1-2 is another walk. Three straight walks to stand the man. Both runners are a blessing game is fast. He's in second. Mutual's average speed at first. Volume moon. 21 is a out and four is a ground ball. That is a 4-6-3 double play. In the inning, we go to the bottom of the fifth. Eight to nothing. Cardinals. Alex Kellner will hit for the A's. He's a pretty good hitting pitcher at 234 with three homers and 47 at bats. 31 is a single off of the pitcher card. Slow runner at first. They run the jacket out there. And here is Woody Held. Both for one with a walk. 46. Ballpark card, 11. And right-handed batter, that's going to be a foul ball. Goes back into the stands. 1-4 is a swing and a miss, strike three. One out. As we saw them give chase, we saw a wrestler in his thing for that foul ball. The kids got it, but it was around a professional wrestler, the Vikings, sitting in the stands. He is a well-known heckler at the ballpark. 23, Vic Power, is out on a fly ball to center field. Two outs. Kellner still at first, so here's Hector Lopez. Strikeout one to ten. Otherwise, it's an out flat to right field. Lopez is retired. So are the A's. We go to the top of the sixth inning. St. Louis eight and Kansas City nothing. All right, Dell Ennis will start the Redbirds sixth inning. Alex Kellner still on the mound for Kansas City. 32 is out. So we're not worried about the kind of outs. We're just trying to move through this game at a faster pace. And this is one way that this fall classic baseball game can be played. Kenny Boyer with a 4-4. That's a base hit.
One for three has a sacrifice fly. Warrior is average speed, Eddie Casco. One two is an out. And that is a ground out to a little dribbler in front of the plate. Right, first with average speed will make it to second and the throw goes to first base. Hal Smith completing the play, two outs. Boyer now is at scoring position, Hobie Landry. 42 is off the Kellner card. That's going to be an out. Ground out to third base, or first base, excuse me. He's left-handed batter. First base unassisted. That's three outs for the cards. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Eight to nothing, St. Louis. Gus Zernio leads off the six for Kansas City. 3-5 goes to Larry Jackson's B column. 1-12 is a signal. It's an 18, so that's going to be a fly out to center field. One away. Hal Smith. One three is out. And now Lou Skeezus. 6-1 is out. 3 up and 3 down for the A's. We go to the top of the 7th. Still 8 to nothing, St. Louis. Larry Jackson will lead off for the cards. 41 is a walk 1 to 16. He gets the pitcher draws a walk. He's been on base three times, doubled and walked twice. Slow runner. Here's Alvin Dark, longtime manager in the major league for a number of teams. He managed the 62 Giants to the World Series, also managed the Oakland Athletics to the World Series. 54 is a 54 chart. That's a wild pitch, an unusual events chart. Fly ball right field uh, versus the E rating for an error. And if it's an error, go to the exotic error chart. 20-sided dice is an A. Right fielder for the A's is Skeezus. He's a 4, so it's not an error. It's going to be a caught for a, an out. One out. Don Blessing game, and we're following him. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Two singles, a double homer. Just missed a triple on his last at bat. Here is a 6-4 roll. That's going to be off Kellner's card. And that's an out. Ground out the shortstop. And it'll be a double play. Ground out the shortstop. 6-4-3. That ends the 7th. We go to the bottom of the 7th. 8 to nothing, Cardinals. Jordan Maestri leads off for the A's. 5-3. Defense chart. 14 uh, is too high. So 53 chart. Checking the range of the third baseman. Casco is 11. The roll is 14. That's going to be a base hit. Jordan Maestri with a leadoff single for the A's. Billy Hunter steps into the box. 4-3 goes to the B column. Out four. Once a grand out to second base, we check this dice. If it's a one, it would be the runner advances. Otherwise, it's a double play. Four, six, three. Two quick outs, and here is Alex Kellner. Forty-five is a out. Go to the top of the eighth. Say to nothing, Redbirds. Stan Usual leads off. Puts the stand the man. 1 4 is a single 1 to 9. It's 16, so it'll be an out. One out. Wally Moon. 23 is an out. And we should have the Cardinal hat here. Here is. Dell Ennis, 
six six roll. There's a drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here a home run for Del Ennis. He is three four five in the game. Cardinals go up nine to nothing. Twenty four homers and fifty seven. Here is Kitty Boyer. Three outs. Go to the bottom of the eighth. Nine nothing St. Louis. The Athletics have six hits on a walk. Larry Jackson has faced twenty seven batters. He's ready to pitch to thirty one before his point of fatigue kicks in. Woody Held sets in the box for Kansas City. Thirty five is a single one to twelve. That's a base hit for Woody Held. Vic Power. All right, 25. Uh, hit by pitch. 1 to 4. It's an 11. So that would be an out, and it's a ground out to third base. F or A runner will advance to second. It won't be a double play. So Held goes to second. He is a fast runner. Here's Hector Lopez. Lopez is one for three. Six four is an out on B column. Two is the roll to fly ball to center field. Two outs. Now Gus Zunio. 1-3 is an out. Three outs. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Nine to nothing in St. Louis. Alex Kellner has pitched to 23 batters, and that's what he's ready to face to reach his fatigue point on his relief rating. So one more bad thing that happens to Kellner, uh, he goes to a D chart on his card. So we're going to replace... Alex Kellner with a new pitcher, Tom Gorman, will be out there for Kansas City. Tom Gorman's bullpen roll is a three. He's bringing his A game to the mound. Eddie Casco steps in the box for the Cardinals. 6-3 will go to Gorman's card. That's an out. Hobie Landreth, the catcher. Landruff is one for four. 46, no park home runs. 18 on the ballpark card. Fielded by the center fielder. Use the uh, assist rating to see if he's safe or not. Um, all right, so we've already used the 20 sided dice. We'll re roll that. And the center fielder for Kansas City is Woody Held. He's an 11 in range. Two makes the play. Two outs. And let's see if Larry Jackson's going to go the whole way. All right, he's pitched to 31 athletics. And he's ready to pitch. Um, to how many batters? 31 batters. So the next bad thing that happens to him goes to a D column. But we're going to let him bat and see if he can get through the ninth. 1 3 is a swing and miss strike. 3. 3 outs. We go to the bottom of the ninth. 9 to nothing in St. Louis. All right. Hal Smith leads off for the Athletics in the bottom of the ninth. They're 9 down. Here's the pitch to Hal Smith from Larry Jackson, 64. That's an out. One away. Loose squeezes. 46 is a ballpark card. 16. Right handed batter. Foul out to the first baseman. Two quick outs. Here is Joe DeMaestri. 6-5, that's a home run card. 1-12 to 12 is a homer. 10, <laughs> there goes a shout out. 
that's a home run for Gilda Mason. He's three for four on the day. One bright spot for the A's. Puts a run on the board. And now we go to the D column for Larry Jackson. Billy Hunter's the batter. All right, Larry Jackson, after giving up the home run, it must move to the D column. And that means most of his results are going to be hits or singles. 31 to 36 and 56 to 64 are singles. 41 to 45 will be walks, even if the batter has an out on his card. So he didn't really. All right, so after going to the D column, we're going to bring in Willard Schmidt. It is a bullpen roll. Uh, that's a nine, which puts him in column B. He just has to get out Billy Hunter, and the ball game will be in the books. Here's the pitch to Billy Hunter, 46. Ballpark, 18. Center field assist rating. Center fielder is Kenny Boyer. We'll get another roll for that. 1 to 13. And Boyer does not make the play. That's going to be a single for Kim, for Hunter. Reserve catcher Tim Thompson will come in to bat for the pitcher Tom Gorman. 32 is a pitcher's card. Schmidt's on working on the B column. 1 to 14 is going to be a double for Tim Thompson. Hunter will hold it third. They need several more base runners. They don't want to get anybody thrown out the plate. Here is Woody Held. 2-3 as a swing and a miss, strike three, and that's your ball game. The final score, St. Louis Cardinals 9 and the Kansas City A's 1. We'll be back with a wrap-up. All right, the St. Louis Cardinals come to Kansas City, and they have a field day winning 9-1. to one. They will move forward to the winner's bracket in round two and take on the Brooklyn Dodgers in their second round game. Kansas City drops to the loser's bracket where they'll play the New York Giants in their second round game out of the loser's bracket. The Cardinals, so nine runs and 13 hits and no errors for the Cardinals. One run on 10 hits and one error for the A's. The winning pitcher was Larry Jackson. The loser was Ned Garver. Jackson went eight and two thirds innings, gave up a earned run on the home run by Joe DeMaestri, and uh, he struck out four and walked one. Uh, there were home runs in the game by DeMaestri, two by the Cardinals, Don Blessing game hit one in the fifth, a solo home run, and Del Ennis in the eighth inning, a solo home run. Everybody in the Cardinals starting lineup got hits today except Stan Musial, and he chipped in though with three walks. The star of the game is Don Blessing game. He went four for five, singled d twice, doubled, and homered. Came uh, within three numbers on the 20th side of die of getting a hitting for a cycle when he nearly hit a triple. All right, tomorrow we'll begin round two. We're playing half the games offline, half of them online. Uh, we had an offline game between the New York Yankees hosting the Chicago Cubs. Of the National League and the Yankees won that game five to one, so they move to forward in the to the second round. They'll play the Detroit Tigers in the second round of the 1957 turn. I hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm enjoying fall classy baseball. I think this is a very realistic game. I'll do a review of it after I've played some more, and um, I can say uh, early on though that I am enjoying. Fall Classic Baseball. I hope you are too. If you are, hit the subscri subscription button and the like button if you like what you see. Have a good day and God bless.